Yo, what's up? And welcome back. This is a cool little view. Trying out something new here. Get to see a little bit more of the desk, a little bit more of the background. I don't know. What's up, guys? I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody had a good week. Uh, this week, we're looking at another puzzle from ID Venture. There's a company based out of Germany, and they do uh, they do really cool puzzles that are actually escape boxes that take you about 30 minutes to an hour to unlock. Now, we've covered two of their uh, creations before. This is the third one. And actually, if you want to get your hands on it, links below. It's on Kickstarter today. Check them out. Uh, they're super fun all their puzzles are really fun and really well thought out and it's a fun adventure for uh for you and a friend so it comes with this little uh comes with this little paper and it says captain nemo's nautilus 1870 paris after the publication about captain nemo and his submarine nautilus which raised great interest in public jules verne uh so from 20,000 leagues under the sea, or 2,000, 20,000, 10,000, a million. Right before his death, Nemo said he will enclose the scientific findings and autobiography in a small, unsinkable container, namely this one. Last one of us left on the Nautilus will throw that container into the sea and it will drift wherever the waves take it. Basically, this is the container that you have to unlock to gather all of Jules Verne's secrets. Without any further ado, hit that like button if uh, if this is something you're into. If you made it this far, it's a, it's a bit of a nudge. A positive nudge for this channel and uh, and subscribe and let's get into it. The latest puzzle from ID Venture. Uh, these are always fun to do. They take about half an hour, 45 minutes to get done. Let's get started. So here we have some arrows pointing to some numbers here, which is blocked by this thing. It won't spin. We also have this here. We got a propeller back here, which makes some type of map with a drawing in, in the back. And then there's little symbols there too. And little circles where those symbols could possibly fit. Over here, we have this, which doesn't turn, but it's making this turn over here. Won't move. There's also this side, all sorts of sides, all sorts of things going on here. I can go up, no, okay. Oh, oh, this came out. There's three things here. I'm not too sure what to make of it. All sorts of things to look at. Do we have to recreate this little map? If so, where's that? Okay, so there's a small island there. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Don't know where to start. Oh, this. No, that doesn't come out because of this here. This looks like the final piece. Guessing it's here. These are the only, these are the only ones that move here in the propeller. So really only the things that are moving. None of these, oh, this one actually moves. Okay, so we got some arrows here. So this one, oh, then you move to the next level. So that goes up. Oh, and so now it's that one up top. Oh, now it's, this one here and then that one goes to that one there i mean everything's unlocked now or are they locked do i have to unlock oh i have to unlock them okay so i go there Oh, that's cool. There we go.
Okay, they're all locked. Let's say I start with this one. All right. And so now that one leads me to that one. But now they're locked into place. There we go. They're, they're all unlocked now. That should be good to go. Oh, now this came out while I was doing that. So I don't know if this has anything to do with it yet, but now I follow this. Ah. One of these things came up. So that's the goal here is to open all of these. So now that I go there, there's these little arrows everywhere. I just want to see where the first arrow is. Hmm. I mean, that should turn, yeah? No. Okay. I've unlocked all of these, which gave me this. Does this fit anywhere? And this was here. Boom. Little symbols on here too. And this won't go back in. There it is. So these have to be lined up in a certain way, which I don't understand. They have three symbols on them. One, two, and three would be on the other side here. So got symbols. Where where do we see those symbols? We see them here. That's blocked because of this one. Can't get that one out yet. I'm sure I did this right, but that can't turn because of that one. And that one's probably blocked because of this one here. So I need to figure out what these symbols here are. That's what I gotta do. One, two, three. This looks like one, two, three, four, six, eight. That's what it looks like goes there, that follows here. So this has to come here. Why would that be there? Boom, follows that, follows this, that comes up. Hmm, this one is also locked by this one. Very confused at the moment. This was here and there's a small arrow. Why are there arrows? Where are they pointing me to? So this arrow was pointing me to here, this thing, which I, can't turn. So then where's the next arrow? This, there's a turtle here. Where's there a turtle anywhere? Right here? Oh. So if I push this, can I take the turtle out? There's a turtle here. Aha. The turtle has been removed. Now, this says, there's a little symbol here. What does that mean? So that was in there. If I pull this out, the symbol says, out and back in. It has this symbol here, and that looks like this. So this has to go in here. It does seem to be something that I can hook this on. And this leads me to here. Oh, okay, so what if I take this and I hook it on and now I can pull. Does this one come out? Yes. Oh, wow. That's cool. Little tool. Now I've got this one out. Brings me to here. Okay. Now so I've got this one and that one. And this one has an arrow. Okay, these are the next ones I got to get out here. Hmm. That's cool so far though. This one, this arrow, was here. It's pointing this way. Does this one come out now? This one's locked into place. So it's gotta do with one of these pins. So either this one here, and this one leads to this one, which I can't take out unless these pins are out. And those ones I can't take out at all. 
Oh, so those two pins have been stopped. So now I can move this one out of the way, which is cool. And I can move this one out of the way, which is cool. But we're still stuck with these ones here. What about this? So this one has symbols here too, but it has no arrow anywhere. But it does have circles. So what if those circles, oh, what if those circles line up? There's only two of them though. Oh, so that one goes on that island, maybe. It has all the symbols here. I have this propeller that I have to line up somehow, but I don't understand how that has to be lined up anywhere. Whether it's lined up with the other propeller or with the drawing that's underneath, you know? I have no idea. I'm sure that this will give us the code for this. But what are these things? Why are there numbers there? Okay, so this symbol here is is this symbol here. So let's put a circle on that, okay? That makes sense? That's one circle. Uh, the second one is the little mountains here, that one. Kinda looks like little mountains. Let's see if I can find it anywhere. Wait, that's the same symbol as that one. And the first one is this. So it's like that. There's a little mountain there, so it's this. So there's two sets of mountains. There's those symbols repeat twice everywhere. And it has to do with these symbols. So it's a, this is a mixture of the symbols that are in here and the symbols that are here. Okay. These look like numbers. Is a nine? Two, three, four. Now this one's stuck. Still trying to figure out what this is. We know that they line up with the circles, but what does that give us? Even if they do line up, what does that do? There's no arrow pointing to this thing either. So it's just a chart. But how does that chart help us out with this? And this, I'm sure this one unlocks this one. Well, this goes to, oh, this goes to there. Oh, so a certain combination of this will unlock the middle one. So the proper combination of this will unlock this, which in turn will unlock this one. That's what the arrows are pointing to. But, but, oh, it'll make it slide this way. Or no, it'll make it come out. Okay, okay I gotta find the combination for this. It's driving me nuts. Oh, the shapes. There's shapes and those shapes can be reproduced with, uh, with, with uh, the lands here, okay. That makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. So, and there are numbers. Okay. For instance, this shape. is very similar to that one. Sort of. Is it more like that? And there's gonna be, there. Like that. Okay, that's that's a good shape. Now it has the two there and two there. So if that one was there, what's the symbol there? It's that symbol and that symbol and that symbol. Oh, okay. So that symbol, which is there, is a nine, so that one goes there. There we go. We've got it. Okay, that was there. No clues on this. This one needs to come out. Yes, which now means, which now means what? Which now means this one's free. So we've got one, two, three, and four. We've only got one left to take out here, which is this one. And that one is strapped to this. So now that we have this, we have a combination here. So this one freely lets this one move. And then if I move it this way, it lets this one move. So I gotta find out what the number here is. So we know this one was good here because we found that one over there. And that's, I'm guessing it's a four. Okay, I'm not entirely sure 
I'm not entirely sure how I got the number for that. I'm not gonna lie, that felt like a big guess. Uh, so if that came out, does that mean, okay, so this has to come here. So this one's next. How does this one come out then? I don't understand what's happening right now. That's supposed to come out. So the arrow's pointing to here. So this comes out after this comes out. But how does this come out? What's pointing to the stingray? Nothing. Do I have to put the piece that I just took out in here? Like this? Oh, that's cool. Yes. Stingray then comes out. Oh, that's so cool. And it gives us, it gives us, oh, cool. Little locks here. But once that's out, now I can take this out. I can turn this around. Pop, 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 pop. I love the idea of using the same tools multiple times. <sighs> Oh, cool. All right, what's in here? How do we open this? Oh, there's a lock here. Oh, there we go. And here we have this. What is this? Mobilis and mobily.net. And it gives us some type of, some type of cipher here. Let's check this out. And they're requesting a password. It looks like the same, oh, it's the same pattern as the Stingray. Congratulations, I knew that one day would come to, you would come to this page. This means the time has come and people deserve to get access to my scientific findings, copies of my archives, which was kept until uh, now in secret by the keepers. Will be sent will be sent to the academies of sciences across the world. Now we have a chance that one day you will see the Nautilus rebuilt. I mean, in the meantime, you can leave the message to my keepers how you feel about the experience with our container. They'll be glad to know we didn't waste our time building it. So I'll, I'll definitely, like, I mean, I give it up to ID Venture for coming up with really, really cool sequential discovery puzzles that really make you feel like you're on this like trajectory and adventure. Um, there was a part of mass confusion on my behalf and maybe, maybe that's just my brain wasn't in it today and I wasn't, I wasn't really fully understanding what I had to do with these uh, numbers here. Although I did find a combination which did open it. I I'm not exactly sure how I got there through these things. But yeah, I really like the idea of reusing things like this, like reusing uh, pieces and turning them upside down and using them elsewhere. I think that's really, really clever. And the fact that we got this cool little keepsake on the inside was really dope. Oh, hot! Dang, uh, we didn't get the button to work because uh, it's, it's having some technical issues at the, at the moment. So we don't have, but you get it, right? You get it. Uh, very cool puzzle. As I mentioned, it's, it's unfortunate because there was one spot that I really had a hard time comprehending. And if you, you, you could wiggle your way out of a situation like that. And that's the only, that's the only gripe I have with this, but Aside from that, I loved it. I love the idea of pieces being reused for other pieces. That's something new that I haven't seen with this. Normally, uh, you would just take a piece out and put it back in, in the other way. This time, there was an actual piece that led to another piece uh, where that goes. The lock thing here was really cool. And of course, the final password, which I thought was a really nice touch as well. So you can check out the link on Kickstarter below. Thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace, right?